everybody for your nice comments about our attic adventure. And I learned that some of you have basements. I didn't know people have space under their houses too. And some of you have all of the cool old things stored in your garage or under your bed. Who knew the places we live in are full of so many treasures? I found a picture of someone I didn't recognize in a box next to the picture album. I asked my family and it turns out we have a friend who lives far, far away. I thought I'd call her together with you. Hi, Callie. Hey, my family told me all about you. My friends are here too. Can you tell them what it's like to be where you live? I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. It is an island in the Caribbean. I live here most of the time, but I also live in New York too. I have never visited there, but I would love to. That would be so fun if you can come here. So, do you go to church in San Juan? Yes, I do. My family and I love Jesus. And we love going to church too. That's so exciting. So, what does church look like there for you? Let me show you. told me you like learning about God too. We even watched a few episodes of Callie's World together. I love how you talk about the Bible with everyone. You have a gift, mi amiga. Would you like to watch one now with me? See, si, of course. It's time for our Bible story. This story comes from the book of Acts, chapter 10, and it's about two guys, Cornelius and Peter. We'll call them Pete and uh, Cornelius. Pete and Cornelius had a lot of differences. The biggest was this. Pete was a Jew and Cornelius was a Gentile. And at that time, Jews and Gentiles didn't make it a habit to hang out together. Not cool at all, right? Because Cornelius was a great guy, he and his whole family worshiped God. He also gave to those in need. One day, Cornelius had a vision, which is like a dream. It was an angel of the Lord directing him to do something different. The angel told Cornelius to invite Peter over to his house. This was strange. He knew that Pete didn't really hang out with people like him. Also, Cornelius was a captain in the Roman army. And at that time, being a follower of Jesus was against the law. So if Cornelius had Pete come over, it could mean big trouble for both of them. But Cornelius decided to obey what God had told him in the vision. While Cornelius' servants were on their way to get Pete, Pete had his own vision. In that vision, Pete heard God's voice telling him to eat things he had never eaten before in his life. Pete had taught that those things were unclean, but God was saying those things were now clean. As Pete was thinking about what this meant, Cornelius' servants showed up to get him. The Holy Spirit told Pete to go with them. So he did. Cornelius had a whole party of friends and family waiting to greet Pete when he arrived. Cornelius himself bowed before Pete. Pete told him to stand up. When Cornelius introduced Pete to everyone, Pete understood what his vision about the food meant, that it wasn't good to allow what we look like the way we do things, or anything else to keep people from being together as God's people. Cornelius told Peter, sorry Pete, about his own vision, and Pete nearly exploded with excitement. He knew for sure now what the Holy Spirit was teaching him. The good news of Jesus' love was for all people, no matter what. Hallelujah! Which is like Yahoo for God. And Pete knew this was how we were supposed to love God as well. All people, everywhere, all the time, no matter what. Because the Holy Spirit helps us love 
everyone. I knew fun had to run, but she told me that she would love it if we can get together sometime in New York or in San Juan. But in the meantime, we can stay connected to each other by sharing our stories. Our Bible story today showed us that God loves everyone the same, even though we are all different. Imagine all of the ways we can love others, especially when we have so much help. Let's take a look. Do-do-do-do-do! <laughs>